Hoshi and uh, of course uh, Jahim on top also getting two goals so their team full of confidence as we introduce you to who's on the lineup today starting with St. Augustine not many notable names although many of the squad returning from last season Lewis in goal and uh, look out for Batiste and Friday while Caleb and Cooper should add some trouble for the San Juan side. Tacoma Jones is the man on the bench. Yes, we're here. And well, for San Juan, it's a different story altogether. Almost household names now. The likes of Jaheem Dankle, who I just mentioned, gets in with, together with Lindell Sween and Nathan Quashi, who have been on fire this season, contenders for players of the tournament. Chase Charles was excellent last game, while Morrison, new student in from the USA, part of the lineup with Jerry Moore on the bench. North secondary firmly placing themselves into the finals. This is how it started. Chase Charles getting the opening item. That was 1-0. Then later on, Arim on the other end felt that he should have gotten something here Friday. Legs a bit too short. And Charles, Sween, and Quashi combining. And no, it's not Captain Planet, but oh, a goal out of this planet. Top pocket, Nathan Quashi, third goal in two matches. And then later on, good looking cross, Morrison, trying to get Sween involved and uh, that's something you don't see every day, miss from that range. St. Augustine though, well not toothless, they did have some efforts on goal. But it was the San Juan team that got help. Even when it was off target, Lindell Sween finally getting his reward, getting on the score sheet. That made it three. At that point, he decided to bring in substitutes. This man, Charles, one of them. And that was one of his goals. Goal number four, St. Augustine secondary. Just a looper with a Lewis in goal. And how about the Conga line? And then later on, Lindell Sween, the provider. Look at this for a touch from Charles. And how about two goals? Goal number five, his second of the match. And boy, could he dance as he celebrates his team moving on to the East Zone Finals. Winners, five goals to nil. So at this point, we say goodbye to all of our viewers looking at us on CCN TV6 in Trinidad and Tobago. All right, it's time now to bring up the numbers on the board. And uh, let's check out shots. And, uh, well, San Juan was certainly firing them in. 11 to 4. Six of those were on target. Well, St. Augustine was just able to muster two. And uh, when we come down to possession, well, San Juan always in charge of that. Lion's share of possession. And the goals, they were quite clinical of their six on target. They were able to convert five. Hans Devines is standing by with a man who scored at least uh, a third of that five goals, Charles. Thank you very much, James. So I'm joined right now by Matthias Charles. Two goals today. You are our man of the match. Talk to us what was going through your head in terms of those two goals and how was it made possible? Um, I was a little bit nervous at start, but as the game went on, progressed, I um, began to get comfortable, relaxed on the ball, but... It's something we've been practicing in thing, the cross over the top and right. the finish. All right, let's talk a little bit about the celebration, the conga line celebration. Where did that come from for Sawa North Secondary School? Well, it's a little something. One of my teammates made up, um, just Jahishwa Ferguson. Right. Uh, we practiced it a little bit on the training ground, but now we find the um, time, right timing to use it. All right, this is the second time you all have actually done it. Congratulations again to you, and you all can conga line your way straight into, uh, into the Coca-Cola East Zone final, where we will actually see you all play one of the two teams that we're going to see a little later on. Brent Sancho is with Coach Tacoma Jones.